right now the top three reasons why nursing students fail and how you guys can avoid them in this week's video series, okay? A lot of reasons why nursing students fail, but honestly, doing this for so long and being the nursing student mentor that I am, I see really top three reasons why students fail the finals. And not even the finals, but really any test uh, in general. The first two reasons is because of content. Now, I know nursing school throws a bunch of books on you. It's like they get the trash can and just dump it on your head. And they want you guys to know everything about everything. But really, that's not the case. Really, your instructors give you PowerPoints. Your instructors give you guidelines. And I talk about this in my How to Study videos. That's the first course I recommend in my video vault. But really, content is key. Either you guys lack of content, which um, first semester students do this all the time. They're like, oh my gosh, I studied, I studied so hard, I read the book backwards and forwards. But guys, my How to Study course shows you exactly what your teacher and exactly what the NCLEX is looking for when you study. It's not looking for content necessarily. They're looking for three things. They're looking for data, action, and response. Fancy words for a nursing process. Your school might call it ADPI, your school might call it SOAPI, but guys, don't mindlessly study. Only study the key words, the need to know information. And I cover all that in my videos as well as the how to study um, course. Now, really rule number one is lopsided studying. I also cover this in my how to study course. But lopsided studying means you have a cardiac renal test. Now, I'm sorry, cardiac and respiratory test, let's say. Now, those are lungs, okay? Heart and lungs test. Now, instructors, and especially for your finals, they love to cover a lot of information. Maybe you might have five topics on your final, okay? If it's cumulative. I'm going to show you guys later how to master your finals in what I call my 72-hour blitzkrieg. But that's totally different. So for a regular test, or even for the finals, your teacher should tell you, or you maybe you should even ask, sometimes you don't even have to ask, you can look at your PowerPoint slides and be like, hey, we spent like six days on cardiac and only two days on respiratory. There will be a lot more test questions on cardiac, so I'm going to focus more on cardiac. Or, as my board says here, I'm going to focus the majority of my time on respiratory and not on cardiac. And that's how students fail because they don't study enough of the topic that the teacher stresses during the lecture classes. So that's what we call lopsided studying. I covered that in my How to Study videos. So if you guys don't have that course or if you don't have a membership yet, I would recommend, and that's where exactly I teach my first students to pretty much start. Last thing is test-taking strategies. Now, test-taking strategies, you can know content. You can have great studying. You can study the majority on cardiac, majority on respiratory, have all your time management skills down to a key. But if you don't know how to take a test, I see this so often, even with my classmates that I graduated with, they don't know how to take a test. And honestly, I can see it time and time again, where it's like, it's almost like let's we're on a gun range and we're going shooting. And we know how the gun works. We know how to clean the gun. We know how to look the gun down the sights and even fire it. But when you put yourself on the gun range and have all that anxiety and you have to apply all that content into your test itself, that's when it gets a little bit more difficult. And that's why I always recommend test-taking strategies and my four-step cocktail here that I really want to stress for your guys' finals. So let me show you how to master this in four steps. So my four steps of success that I preach all the time, have it on the website, membership site. Number one, watch the videos first. Guys, all of the content I have is out of NCLEX books, okay? If you ever seen an NCLEX book, it's about this thick with all the content, maybe like 600 pages. Now going through school, you might have had 3,000 pages on content. 
But when you get to the NCLEX, they only give you the need to know information. They put it all in one book. Now here's a book I really like. Your NCLEX Saunders Guide from 6th edition. Very, very good resource. Great, great content. It's very thin. It's not tons and tons of material like we have during school. So I focus on only the need to know information. I pretty much highlight the book for you. Number two, you need to mine. Now, it doesn't mean mind your own business. Mine, like you're going into a cave and mining the gold out. You're highlighting your notes based off of the videos that I have. Or you're highlighting your PowerPoints, you're highlighting your class notes, lecture notes, whatever your teacher tests you on. Next step is after you mine the gold, you refine the gold five to seven times in your head and review it. I see a lot of students highlighting their books, but never going back and refining it. And that's where you have a lack of content for your um, patient, for your patients, <laughs> for your students that fail the tests. So guys, do not forget to refine. The last step is crucial for your test taking strategies. You have to be done studying at least two to three days before your test. I always recommend 48 hours before your test. If your test is on Monday, be done studying by Saturday. Now, I, mean, I say done studying by saying refining, reviewing all your notes, all your highlighted portions, five to seven times. That's what I mean by done studying. 100 to 200 NCLEX questions is what I recommend. So if you're doing it in 48 hours, that's either 50 to 100 test questions each day. Now this four-step cocktail is going to help you focus on the need to know information. Not going to waste your time by reading the entire book. It's going to cut your study time, double your productivity, and help you guys relax a whole lot more going through your finals as well as going pretty much through any test you go through. And really, I honestly recommend this even for the NCLEX because there's a lot of information out there. People are going to tell you a lot of things. But guys, it's a four-wheel car. Usually, people who do it successfully are able to roll all four wheels. And it's, it's almost like Kung Fu. You're going to get better at it, throwing punches and whatnot. But guys, if you only have one wheel working on the four-wheel car, that's where a lot of students mess up. And that's where a lot of students fail. So guys, get those four wheels rolling uh, at simplenursing.com and hopefully we are able to help you dominate nursing school. So let's get into our first question here for our live webcam.